Um, this is where camp was last night. Uh, got a couple, lots of tenting spots actually. Um, there is a road like right there and a house that looks like someone's summer house. Because there's no one living in it. Um, but yeah, no, no spooky things happening on Halloween night. Um, um, it is quite chilly this morning and probably will be chilly for the rest of the trip. Um, I don't see it warming up at all from here on out. Um, it's probably 40 degrees, I'd say. Maybe a little bit lower. Um, and, uh, we have 58 miles till Parisburg. Got to do it in three days. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a great challenge. Um, Got to get at least 20 in today. So I'll see you down the trail. So uh, I don't even think this mountain has a name. But uh, walking up this, just wanted to show you what the trail's like up here. Um, it has a pretty steep slope to it. Um, kind of difficult to just power up it. Uh, so pacing is so important. Um, as I can tell right now, I'm kind of a little winded. But uh, it's pretty steep. Um, I think I'm up to the top or close to it. But uh, I don't know. There's so many false summits. So I don't even get excited when I get up to something that looks like this. When I get up to something that looks like that, I don't get that excited because, um, who knows, could curl around this thing and there's a higher peak on the other side. But anyway, um, the valley down there looks pretty awesome. But I uh, just wanted to show you what it looks like. Um, this is how a lot of Virginia has been. Um, except yesterday, which was a whole lot of rock scrambles. But anyway, I will see you on down the trail. Going to hit 1,500 miles today. Whoop, whoop. And uh, we'll see how far we get. Got to get to Parisburg in three days. All right, y'all. I'll see you down the trail. Made it to... The little ridge, the top, almost, of the mountain here. But uh, here's the uh, Audie Murray uh, monument up here. Um, this this man was a very, very decorated um, soldier here. Thank you for all of your service and uh, your... hours and hours of dedication to keeping our basic freedoms uh, and, and rights um, for all of us down here. Um, but thank you for everything. Uh, his monument here is very well um, decorated, um, which is awesome. But thank you. Yeah, there's the overlook over there and two benches that I will definitely um, will definitely enjoy. But uh, thank you again, and uh, definitely come up here uh, if you're passing through. It's it's pretty remarkable. But uh, anyway, I will see you down the trail. Got a lot more miles to do today. All right, y'all. So uh, I'm almost at Route uh, 621. I've um, got a couple neat bridges that I got to cross over right there and here. Um, this is at the Craig Stream Campground, I think is 
what it's called, but I mean, there's a tenting spot further up the trail that way where I just came from. But uh, so people on gut hooks have been saying that these streams and creeks and um, things are dry. And uh, let me tell you, that's pretty deep. Um, it's it's flowing pretty well today. I'm sure it's pretty low compared to what it normally is, but that has got to be maybe two feet deep right there. Anyway, um, there's plenty of water here past Daleville in Virginia now. Now. Um, this used to all uh, be dry is what I've heard on, on gut hooks comments and stuff like that. But got nice big pools again. It is raining currently. Um, so even more water to come. Um, but I'm sure that this whole area right here where I'm walking through was probably, I mean, really, uh, really flowing with water. Um, but just, uh, I've been doing the uh, Brush Mountain East Wilderness this morning and got a really cool bridge to go over here. Look at that. Anyway, um, that is a nice stream there. That is very large. About to cross over this bridge. They have a new ladder here too. They redid it. Oh. Look at that, very stable. That's awesome, but yeah, that's a lot of water coming down. Nice flowing. I will see you up the trail. Got, oh goodness, maybe I'm seven miles, seven and a half miles done today. Um, I'm going to say I basically started at 10.30. Um, we started a little bit earlier than that, 9.30, but uh, ran into some problems and then got them figured out. But uh, I've got to be almost at Route 621, I believe. But yeah, plenty of water here. All right, y'all. I'll see you down the trail. This is very interesting. I hate doing this because... You know, I'm tearing up the forest here, but having to walk around trees, yeah, that kind of hurt, has uh, become sort of a task. Uh, I have no idea. This looks like a trail here. It is not, I don't think. There's not enough blazes here in Virginia. But this was, that was a mighty big tree. I will say that. And I can't tell if there's a blaze on this thing or not. Anyway, that one tree knocked down another tree which split another tree. Crazy. There's a lot of debris like this in Virginia right now. Man, that's gotta be, that's gotta be fresh. That was a whole, I don't know, 30, 30 feet I had to walk around there. That's crazy. But yeah, there's a, there's a lot of things like that. And you see how easily you can get uh, turned around. Like I thought that little path there was a was a trail, and uh, glad it took a keen eye and some thought back to Maine, because normally the trail doesn't just like take a turn real quick, you know, so, somewhere. 
Um, you just got to look around, be patient, and look for something like that on a tree. Anyway, I spotted that one from a little bit, a little ways back. And uh, yeah, when you're out, when it, when you're out here, keep your eyes open. You'll see a lot of weird things, like animals and uh, down trees and streams that seem to pop out of nowhere. But anyway, um, I'm walking up my second mountain today. I think this is, oh, I can't even remember what the name of this mountain is. It's hard to keep track. But I know that I'm about to walk along the Continental Divide here, um, probably in about three miles. Uh, I'll get up to it, and then I'll walk along the divide for a while. Um, but anyway, I got a shelter here in about a little over half a mile. The, and uh, we'll see how far we get. I'm hoping I can get to Blacksburg, Virginia, somewhere around there. It's Route 42. That's another 11 miles. That'll be pushing it. But uh, we'll see. All right, y'all. I'll see you down the trail. So this is the Nade shelter. Um, the privy, sorry for spinning around so quick, is right there. It's pretty new, actually. I'd say that. Um, 2011 is when it was built. Um, it's pretty awesome. Um, the shelter is all right. Uh, plenty of tent spots. Um, the water situation, I do not know. Um, if you follow the blue blaze back to the um, trail, the water is on the other side. So anyway, pretty cool area. Standard uh, shelter and everything, but come on, that's a lot of trash. That is disgusting. Why would you leave that there? Whoever did this is going to attract a lot of mice and animals and whatnot to the shelter area. But anyway, um, some people have left stuff behind here. Tarps, some um, camp shoes. A whole lot of other stuff. But anyway, I will see you down the trail. Um, got at least another, what, 11, 10 miles, something like that. Um, it's a slow day, I will say that. But anyway, here's the shelter. And I'll see y'all down the trail. All right, finally made it up this thing. I uh, made it to the Eastern Continental Divide. Gulf of Mexico is that way. And the Atlantic Ocean is that way. Um, any water that hits that side of the mountain and in that direction goes to the Gulf and of course vice versa over here everything all the water east of this mountain would go to the Atlantic Ocean look at that pretty cool oh um, that was a uh, southbound that was a uh, one heck of a walk up this mountain here. I'll say that four miles of continuous uphill. Was great. Um, anyway, I will see you on down the trail at these viewpoints up here in a little bit. And uh, we'll see where we can get tonight. 
I haven't made a plan yet. All right, y'all. I'll see you. So I just wanted to show you this. I'm walking along some ledges right now. Um, I uh, have been on the phone. I know, I know. You're not supposed to be on your phone while you're out here on the trail. But I've been on my phone for the past... Oh, 45 minutes trying to figure things out but that is one beautiful sight over here uh, and I just busted my butt earlier right before I f filmed this oh it hurt so bad but there is the scenery I've been walking along this ridge for a very long time but anyway, look at that view. I love it. But anyway, I got another, I guess, half a mile of ridge like this and ledges. So I'll see you down the trail. I'll show you those if my phone didn't die first. All right, y'all. Along the trail for a mile here, there are these Karens. And, uh, it's pretty interesting. I mean, I just walked up the hill and then all of a sudden, boom, there's like, I don't, I don't know, 40, 50 Karens. Just, I mean, everywhere. Some are dilapidated and falling over and some are really still standing pretty good. It's really weird. Um, it's just very interesting why they're just here so i look on gut hooks and gut hooks has like you know these little tidbits of information which by the way that app is awesome um and it said that these cairns were built by early farmers you know in the area and uh that's pretty cool um maybe i need some more information on it I hope you know what's on gut hooks is correct uh, I'd like to research it myself or if someone wants to comment on the video and see why they're here it's a uh, bruiser's knob Karen's for like a mile here I mean they're like everywhere but I don't see you know like in New Hampshire you kind of needed Cairns up on top of, you know, Mount Washington and Mount Madison and all the different presidential mountains in the, in the White Mountain Range because there's no trees for 12 miles up there. So you kind of need them, but here you don't need them, you know, to find your way along the path. It's just interesting that they're here and wonder why the farmers used them or had them. But yeah, there's a lot of them. They're, they're everywhere back here. Anyway, well, I got about 3.8 or so miles till the road of Virginia 42. Probably gonna stop there. Um, I fell earlier. And uh, it's starting to, it's starting to hurt. Um, but these rocks, especially back on those ledges, my phone died. Um, and uh, right as I was walking along the ledges, of course, the rocks are slick because it has been sprinkling on and off. And I just took one wrong step and landed right on my shoulder but it's easy to do it's easy to fall out here it's easy to get hurt too you gotta take care of yourself but yeah there's just Karens like that everywhere well that's probably the best one I've seen right there very interesting anyway I will see y'all down the trail and uh, 
Oh goodness, I hope I make it to Virginia 42 by uh, by nightfall. Oh, it's creeping up quick. But the sky is very pretty, I'll say that. You probably can't see it, but anyway, I'll let you go. All right, y'all. So, I'm seeing more deer. I've already seen two today. I have another one right over here. Sounds like another one's over there. But there is a deer right in the middle of your screen, probably. I cannot, I can't zoom in on him. Of course, I keep on walking this way. He's gonna keep running down the trail, but he's about to cross the trail right Right in the middle. You can barely see him. Right there, his tail. His white tail. Look at that. Um, yeah, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. Um, but it's almost dark. Almost dark. And uh, I got another, what, two or something miles to go. Three. I don't know, somewhere around there. But, uh, the deer are out. Oh, he's going right in front. Right there, all the way down the hill. Buddy, we're going in the same direction. But, anyway. I will see y'all down the trail. Hopefully I can get to this road, this campsite, sometime. Alright, y'all. So, I'm going through a pasture here and uh we got our friends the cow the cow's back um i gotta go through this fence here where all these cows are and then i have no idea where the trail goes i think it turns it takes immediate left here but uh here we are here's some cows again Look at all of them. Man, they're looking right over here. Some of them. But uh, they scared me earlier. I was just walking through the woods and then all of a sudden one of them mooed and made a noise. And uh, I about jumped out of my skin and then looked over and saw that there was a ton of them. Look at all of them. Look at that. So cool. Anyway, uh, I'm about to see one of the biggest, or the biggest tree in the southern half of the trail. So there's your cows. Look at that. And what a sunset over there. Anyway, I will see you at the tree. There's the kefir oak. The largest tree in the southern half of the trail. That thing is huge. I will say that. And I hope the farmer that uh, has all these cows fixes his fence back there because uh, it's open. All the cows are run loose. But look at look at that thing is tall very big 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 tree this thing is huge that's a little nice little uh, camping spot right there jeez that thing is big anyway I will see y'all down the trail I gotta get over this little hill and Find a campsite. All right, y'all. So it is now dark, and you probably can't see a thing other than my headlamp. And uh, really interesting. I probably can't find them anymore. Um, I'm walking down the trail, and I look in the middle of the trail, and uh, you can uh, you can see eyes. And I'm like, oh goodness, what is that? 
you know, looking right back at me, not moving. Hey, all you can see, all I can see is eyes, the headlamp. Oh, there. You can't see it. There's eyes looking right at me, right in... You can't see it on the camera, but... Which is really weird, you know? You're walking through the through a dense forest in the middle of the night, and all you see when you look up the trail is eyes looking at you. Guess what? It was a deer. It was another deer. Five of them in the last oh, hour or so. Um, but I'm walking through a pasture now. Um, the moon is up. Right up there, there's the moon. Oh. I can't see any more deer, their eyes. That's what you mainly see first at night for anything. Um, but anyway, I will see y'all later.